Right, now people have been asking me to review my 4K monitor here. And it's really a television. It's not really a monitor. But a 1080p 50 inch for the living room because I sit way, way back there. So 4K doesn't benefit. Let's talk about the benefits of 4K. I'm going to talk about my Vizio, but I want to talk about 4K in general first. You see, I have always spoken down about 2160p. 2160p is what it actually is. You can't go 480, 720, 1080, and then start talking about the width. So it's actually 2,160 pixels high, where a regular television is 1,080 pixels high. Fine. There are two places I knew, I knew 4K was going to work. A massive projection screen, eight feet across, that you're, you, know, you could actually benefit from it, or on a computer desk. People who buy 4K televisions, like if that was a 4K sitting there, and I'm sitting even as close as there, which is like eight, eight or nine feet, there's no benefit to it. So 4K for gaming on a PC makes sense. That's why I bought this. I had to make the decision. Do I go with a projector for gaming? Do I go triple head? A lot of people go triple head for gaming. Or do I just jump in all four limbs 4K? And I went 4K. Now, the issue with going 4K The issue with going 4K is you can't just buy a 4K monitor or in this case a television and be done with it. You have to have the guts to push 4K. And right now, my old system here, which is blowing nice warm air out, and I can warm my hands in it, does not have the guts to run 4K gaming. Not even a fucking hint of it. It's a 7973 gig, which back in the, which on a 1080p monitor, just eats it up. Just eats up pretty much everything, including modern games. But guess what? Running that card on this display is the same as running four head 1080p. I could have bought four of these 50 inch televisions and it would run at the same speed as running one image on this. So do not think you're gonna get into 4K gaming without extreme expenditures in the way of power. And when you push a big video card, you need a good processor too. So when I build my new computer, it's gonna have to be a monster. So get that in your head. I got this screen for like under $512 on uh, Black Friday. So not a, not a very huge expenditure, I'm talking about computer monitors. And I can't game on it. I can game on it. I could run Planet Side right now. We could play some Planet Side right now. But it's going to be running at a low resolution. And then that resolution is going to be stretched to full screen. It's the only way it works in my machine. So let's... We'll talk about gaming on it. But we're going to talk about the benefits of 4K computer use first. Computer use. Alright? The things you do when you're not gaming... Some of you may not do anything. Your, mic, your computer might just auto start, run Steam, and then auto run whatever. So, you know, you don't even understand what's Windows. What's Windows? I gotta minimize these people. They're bothering me. My day is mostly spent in Firefox. And here we are in Firefox. Now, if you shut off, I shut off the tile view. You get to spend one tab at a time looking at things. Here's, here's my Z reviews. Let's watch a video. Pandora Hope just came out today. Oh, look. To full screen that, there you go. Now, they sell 24 inch and 27 inch 4K monitors. Monitors. It's 60 hertz, by the way. And I don't see a reason Chewbacca and I don't see a reason to buy a 4k monitor that small yes you're talking about pixel density you're talking about packing so many fucking pixels into a little tiny square it's so fluid it just oh it's amazing well guess what here I am sitting in front of a 43 inch display which is 
fucking huge. It's a four-foot table, by the way. So all you people who don't think you have desks big enough, this is a four-foot plastic table with two of the probably the biggest bookshelves you'd ever put on a table on it, the, the Studio 530s. And I still fit a 43-inch, even though it's sort of back there, and I have to sit here to see it all. But... No. Off. Okay. The benefit of 4K right now, if you buy one right now without the guts to push it, it's okay. You can do that. And you're going to get this. And what this is, is... That's okay. That's perfectly fine. That's the loose connection on the wire in the back of mine. It doesn't fit because it's a mess. I was talking about small, small 4Ks, 27 inch, 24 inch, 43. So let's chop off 10 inches of that. We're talking about like that big. Now I'm sitting at a reasonable distance. I can get my tape measure out, but it's like arm's length to touch. And I don't see a fucking pixel, not a single one. I don't see it. Now if I slide over, don't crush the cat. Let's give me something to look at. Uh, yeah, let's look glitch mob up. If I slide over to my 1080p and I put my hand out, it's 50 inch, so I'll be a little further away. I see every dot, everything. I see it. I see that it's not high enough resolution. I couldn't sit here and use this. This is useless. I back up to here and it's fine right in front of where the couch would go. 4K's benefit is that you get to go big and not see pixels. Right? You don't have to be restricted to 27 inch, 24 inch, or 32 inch. I would not accept a 4K monitor less than 40 inches. Do you hear words I just said? Because I meant them. I've seen those 4Ks that are like yay big, or, and that's great. But if I could sit here at a normal distance with this sort of pixel density and not complain and just be like, oh, then why are you wasting, you're just wasting 4K. When 8K comes out in a couple years, I'm gonna say this exact same thing, only I'm gonna say I wouldn't go any less than 60 inches. Go big or go home. There's no point in getting uh, you know, look, I got a 10 inch 4K. To what end? You could touch that to your retina and not appreciate the detail. So at least here, where I am sitting, every piece of text, Kermit the Frog's face, everything looks perfect. And that's fine. This is, a, by the way, a 4K wallpaper because I wipe it up to 4K. These are, these are my backgrounds. Just, just can I arrange them by dimensions? Of course I can. Yeah, I bought this with the confidence of knowing that I would not have to worry about playing games on it yet. When I build a new computer, games will happen. I could play games at 1080p stretched out. Hell, I've even played some games at 2560 by 1440 and stretch them out. Because you just you could just keep adding detail until your video card says stop. And that's what it does. It literally crashes my video card drivers. Here's some AK Emma Watson. 8K. Someone made a massive one. I'm zooming it in currently. Right? I don't see any imperfection in that picture from here. That's the miracle of 4K. That's 9,000 pixels wide. We'll just keep going. There's, there's no problem with this. Now, let's get to specifically this Vizio, because I'm, I'm going to just keep ragging on about how it's amazing to look at everything on a 4K from this distance. You're looking at a store, when you're shopping for a TV at a store, where's the TV? Up on a table usually where you're standing and you're looking at it from here and it's great. When you're not in the store though, you're not doing that. So forget 4K for Netflix from your couch, irrelevant. You can get a 70 inch and it probably wouldn't be good at 12 feet. I have to actually test that theory. But here, computer monitor, you've got all the pixels to deal with. 
get up out of any picture you want. That's 4K as well, and it's just... And I see them. And now I don't see them. So, go big or go home, and don't think that you're just getting a 4K for gaming. 4Ks are, um, go to our high res, or 4chan's high res, just anything high res looks exceptional. Even on my shitty Vizio. All right, let me start with that. All right, we're talking the actual review of the television now. You see, you don't notice it. Here's the, here's the remote. Comes with a nice remote with a keyboard in the back. I could launch iHeartRadio, Netflix, Amazon. Everything is built in. Great. Picture in picture. Fine. It took me three days to calibrate this monitor. I'm going to call it a monitor now. It's really a television because anything with a tuner built in and source switching isn't a monitor, I think. This is a weird definition. Picture. I have the brightness down or else the camera freaks out. Yeah, the options for... Am I doing this on both? No, because they're the same remote. The color calibration, color tuner options are sick. Every one of these, red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, every one of these goes negative and positive 50. That's 101 variations for hue, saturation, brightness, offset, and gain. For every color, and then... Hue, saturated, bright, for cyan, magenta, and yellow. And then on top of that, you get an 11 point white balance. So you can adjust the 10% gain, 5% gain. Oh God, I'm hitting things. I don't want to do that. You, you can, every gain gets a positive, negative 50 white point balance gain, which is just insanity. It, it's, it's an insane amount of calibration you can do and ironically have to do on this screen. So I fully endorse this as a computer monitor. There is no lag. There's no like, I bought two at the same time. I bought one for myself, an expensive one for myself. And I bought one for my mother because I'm a great son and Christmas was coming and she needed a new television. And guess what? The 42 inch 4K by the no name brand element was $350. And that's a hell of a gift. We split it with my brother and me. And sister. She paid too. Fine. That was a 30 hertz with so much input lag. When I hooked it up to the computer, because obviously that's the only place I would push 4K, that when I moved the mouse, it would do this. Mouse, 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 mouse. Move. It was so laggy. So you could never use a cheap 4K for gaming. 30 hertz does not work. That input lag does not work. This one... Johnny on the spot. So if you're gonna buy a 4K for this sort of thing, research, because I, you know, people ask me TV advice and I can't possibly know every minutia of every manufacturer and how they differ between models. You're gonna want to find 60 hertz native. This will do 120 hertz for 3D glasses and stuff, but it, it, you can't actually access that. I'm trying to figure out a way if I could fake the 120 hertz thing while I'm on the desktop. So far, no luck. And you're gonna make sure you wanna look for input lag if they even list it, if they even list it. Your best bet, honestly, if you go to like a Costco store or a Best Buy store to look at these things, bring a laptop, bring an HDMI cable, plug it in, move your finger, see if it moves at the same time. If it does, you're probably fine. Shut off all those stupid movement options that are in these menus. Picture, more picture. There, there's all sorts of things. Active LED zones, reduced judder, clear action, which actually makes it like, I'm not sure what the camera's picking that up like, but it's blatantly flashing on my eyes. So we shut that off. Reduced noise, game low latency, game low latency I have on. And I have not been able to figure out if that actually does anything. And I've done testing back and forth, the Zeos amount of testing. No clue, no clue what it does. Have it on anyway. So, there's only one port on this monitor that is 4K ready, and it's right here. It's a standard HDMI. You can't buy a display port. Let me slide this out. You've got, let's see, Ethernet. You want to wire it. It has Wi-Fi built in, so I didn't bother. It's got a cable tuner. 
left and right RCA outs and optical out, so I could actually hook this straight up to any amplifier I want to push if I had the acting as a sound switcher. It's got uh, HDMI best 4K at 30 hertz, HDMI 4K at 30 hertz, 4K at 30 hertz, and this one 4K at 60 hertz. So those are your choices. You only get one input. And it's got a comp component which is a uh, RGB and, or yellow and left and right, so I have an old game console and then a USB which I think it'll read off a stick or I would just use that for power if you wanted to hook a DAC up to this or something. That's it. That's the main thing. It's pretty heavy. Not bad. Six out off the wall. That six out off the wall more than the Kobe did. Could have probably gotten a 55. We are getting into it now. Now we're getting into it. I don't know how long I could record. I could record forever talking about this because I've been thinking about it for months. Playing low resolution stuff on a 4K does things. What does it do, Zeos? What does it do? Well, you see, you play something that's 1080p, which I have many, many things that are 1080p. Like anything will do, god damn it. Of course it plays over there. Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Anything you play that's low resolution will look better on this screen than it does on that screen. Even natively. So you play a 1080p movie, you drag it over there, you play it. We look real close. I could, you know, it's, it's good here. I gotta be back here and then it looks good, then I don't see any fucking pixels. We come back over here, and we full screen it, and guess what? I don't see any pixels from right here. I don't see any. You know why? Because there's four pixels per pixel, and whatever it's doing to fill it in, that's in super high speed for some reason. I like it. Good. Don't pull the movie off. Age of Ultron, by the way. Not a terrible movie. You can watch 1080p videos on your 4K monitor from sitting distance on 43... And is there a benefit when you run 4K content? Yeah. Yeah, a bit. A bit. I haven't noticed it in movies. I had a couple 4K movies. Because the detail, to observe detail of that sort, everything has to be still. But still my beating heart. When you start, when I've actually, I've actually gotten two games to play in 4K. Just two. Rocket League, which starts out fine, and then all of a sudden my video card hits that point where it has to lower itself down or it's going to burst into flames. Which I should play a game before the end of this video. So we could either Rocket League or Planet Side. We'll do some Planet Side. So I've, I've been able to... i got to close my uh, Firefox. When you up the resolution from 1080 to higher, you notice it. Because movie... Because games are sharp. There's edges. There's text that's rendered. A movie is basically a big blurry pile of, you know, rough images. They're focused. There's lenses involved. It's analog. But a game... A game is a rendered thing, and you will notice if it's low resolution. So yes, you can play it, but, big but, you are going to benefit from that being high def, all the way to 4K, as high as you can get it to go. Played a little Arma 3, and I was able to push the resolution to 1080p, and that was it, because Arma is a terribly written game. We'll have to wait for this now. Just, just, just waiting now. It's using the IRC. Here, there's my IRC. Oh, uh, you're gonna also break your entire being. Block that. When you go, forget 4K. You can only go 43 inch when you go 4K. That's what 4K is allowing. They're allowing you to take your monitor size from the piffy 20s to the 40s, 
without, without anyone complaining. I knew people who used to run 50 inch televisions, which were 1080p on their desk. And I'm like, are you fucking idiot? You right now watching this right now, if you've got a 50 inch television on your desk, you've got anything bigger than 40 inches in 1080p that you're using as a computer monitor, get the fuck off my channel. I, cause I've done it and it's a terrible, terrible experience. Everything is huge. And even if you shrink it, well, the pixels are huge. It's all bad. That's all that 4K does is it allows you to get this big. Put some sound on. Ground. Got the Micah Origin, by the way, feeding the A500 through a three and a half to XLR, feeding the Studio 530s. Which happened, it all fits. So don't say your desk isn't big enough. I can get this monstrosity with these monstrosities and they only barely slide right off. The, they're just right there. So. Purple's the best. So now I'm running this 2560 by 1440. I think that's 16 by nine, unless I'm getting that number wrong. I'll wait for it to load, then I'll check. And it isn't bad. It isn't bad, but I could see it's not 100% pixel to pixel perfect. And that's what you're getting, that's what you need the money in that part of it for. You ready to watch how bad I am in Planet Side? It's gonna be amazing. And I'm not too keen on the mechanical keyboard's benefits in gaming. Typing feels great. But you're about to watch some real gnarly stuff. Where is there a lot of action? And oh, by the way, I'm an arrow keys fag. Sorry, I'm older than all of you, and this is what we used to use for gaming. I used to use games that used the numpad to move around. And I just never, I never was sodded. I've never gotten over there. It's just always been, you know, this. Oh, we're all gonna die. So, one of the problems with gaming on something this big, anyone who knows me from my other channel or anything I've done is I always say, lower your field of view, lower it. Lower it so that the window that you're looking through is, is more accurate to real life. Well, guess what? That's a big fucking window. And now I've raised my field of view to 79 or whoever it goes to in this game, and it's not wide enough. I feel like I'm way in. I'm like way in. What is going on here? All right, let's go get killed, because I'm making a review and people need to see that the NC are a proud fighting force. Yeah, I'm just literally people running and I have to like divert my eyes. It's size here, people. Yes, 4K is great, but 4K lets you be this big and not be a total dick. Oh God, sliding. Who is shooting? Oh, 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 oh. Where'd he go? Oh, he's a goddamn infiltrator. Oh. Run away. Run away. All right, moving forward. There's no mouse lag. There's a little bit of tearing because I can't lock my, fr I'm getting 30 frames. Right now, 32. Oh, thought that was the enemy. What's he shooting at? Yeah, this is as close as you can get to an Oculus Rift without wearing an Oculus Rift. I will not be satisfied until I've died for you people. Died for you! Oh, it's one of these places.
Oh! Saw nothing coming. Is he still here? What? I might be in the middle of something. No, what are you talking about? There. Video lab, memory loss. I just watched a video where this guy was testing. You know the FN57, they say it shoots through body armor? Yes, okay. They. So this guy's shooting at a level 2 vest. It's the most common vest in the United States, worn by police all, all over the place, private, everybody. Where's his level 2 vest? He shot it with two kinds of regular ball ammo for the 5.7. Then he shot it with the real deal green tip, which is the armor, the one that's meant to, to, to blow through armor. And the two regular bullets didn't go through the armor, and the green tip did. It went in the body about six inches. Past, past the vest. So clearly that worked out of the handgun. But what was interesting was he then tried a longer barrel. He had a real deal bullpup length P90. Not with the not with the legal rifle barrel, but with just a regular length like 8 inch barrel that the, that the P90 has. And with the standard ball ammo, not the armor defeating green tip, with a standard ball ammo, it went right through the vest and right through the body and just kept on going. Okay, so which gun should I buy? Speed is how you defeat armor. So if you had the legal almost everywhere version of the P90 with the little with the extended barrel, like the fucking 15 inch barrel or what what whatever the hell that thing is. That's totally armor defeating with just regular cheap federal five five seven. Well, it's not cheap, but regular federal ball ammo will go right through body armor like it's nothing. Happy and sad for you. All about that speed. Speed is king. That barrel length amps up the speed by a, the, that, that extra couple hundred feet per, per second. That that. It needs to All right, we're done with the yield now. Here's a 60 frame per second version of the Boros fight with One Punch Man. So I know it's playing 60 FPS, because this is smooth as hell when you watch it on here. It's just liquid. Liquid frame rate is happening right now. I won't spoil this show, by the way. Just everyone go watch it. And after you've used a monitor, which I'm telling you now, don't buy a 4K unless it's more than 40 inches. Every other computer monitor. And this one is 29 inches. It's 29 inch ultra wide. It may as well be a tablet. It's a tablet screen. I can't see anything. It's so crowded. I, here I have it split. I have, and it's, it's like, oh God, everything is so... Here's my... The telegram window is like taking up most of the screen. Once you've gone big, you've ruined it. You've ruined your ability to go small ever again. And 29 inches is not small. This is 29 inches. This is a, this was a, this was more expensive than the TV inside. Granted, this has some of the best color reproduction I've ever seen. And if I opened up a gray matte background, the color uniformity is perfect. If we open up a gray matte background on my Vizio here, you're going to notice some very nasty stuff happening. Where do I have that? I guess I have to open, I guess Reddit will do. I have my Reddit set to gray. So here's gray. Here's this tab. Take off tile. I can see, other than my reflection, some dark lines here and some vertical striping, just very faintly. This is just a solid gray background. And if you could see it, and I don't know if the camera picks it up better than the human eye, there's like a vertical white stripe there. And these are the results of a $500 4K versus a $1,500 4K. And I noticed them, but you know where I noticed them? Right here, looking at a giant swath of gray and moving my head back and forth. I'm sure the camera's picking up the dark spot in the middle. That That's only due to the camera and its internal polarization. That is not due to anything else. Once you put anything more complex than a solid color like that on the screen or a video playing, you'll never notice it. Playing that game, you'll never notice it. 
I'm an obsessive when it comes to like video quality. You know, people think, oh, audio, Zeos audio. Zeos video trumps Zeos audio five times. I have my Sony GDM FW900 in my room, my big 24 inch Sony CRT. Yet to hook it up here, because I know once I do, I'm gonna wanna use it. So I'm avoiding it. I'm like, oh, I'll just hook that up later. And I, I, I may never, I may never again. Okay, Telegram, by the way. Telegram is pretty excellent. So let's finish. Let's conclude my four... This, is, this has been a very long review of not this television, but 4K in use in general. Yes. Gaming on it, fine. Make sure you have the, the budget. Because you need it. Until I have the budget, until, until you know a month from now, after taxes and, and rent and everything, if I have enough to start building the computer, it will start being built and I will review certain aspects of it. it will come on this channel. But until then, I'm gonna be using this 4K on a daily capacity for email. Split screen email, click it. There's like a massive, just, it's so massive. All, all my Reddit, all my internet shit. I throw on this uh, tile view. I could do, I have usually down here is YouTube comments and up here is Reddit comments and over here is everything else. The Tatsumaki subreddit, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. It's so much real estate. It's an insert, it's, you, it's a not going back from this amount of stuff, amount of stuff. I mean, I auto hide my, my taskbar, I moved to the right years ago because having things line up for 20 inches on a normal monitor is annoying. Having them line up for 37 inches across the bottom of your screen would be even worse. So I go with the, with the auto hide right, all my, all my drives, lots of them, all my pinned apps, lots of them, all my non-pinned apps. It's just a fucking list. It goes on forever. Even dark stuff. All black, here's all black. That's all black. All black looks great. There's no light bleed. Our battle paintings. It's like art. It's like I'm looking at a piece of art. I can get this close to this, and it's 100% zoom, so it's a 4K picture. And I could see JPEG artifacting from whenever they transferred this, but no pixels. Nothing. 4K, 4K, okay, 4K. This is it's what this is. This is okay. Where's the, uh, I'm sure there's stuff here that no one should look at. Just that girl, gun, view, pickup truck. I knew I could get this monitor before I had the gaming computer because I like looking at things. And if you like looking at things, you could probably afford to, to pick one up before you're ready. Because it's just gonna be like, oh God. Our battle paintings, by the way. Our fucking battle paintings. Too bad that's so low quality. It's been blown up 9,700 times. You can see it's all just rounded. Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, if you came here wondering if you should get a 4K monitor for your computer, yes. If you came here wondering if you got a 4K monitor for gaming, that's also a yes, but comes with that added on, hey, you've got to spend like 800 to a thousand dollars more than you would if you just had a 1080p. But if you have a 1080p, pixels. You got to stay away from it. That monitor inside, it's only 1080 high. 2560 wide, but 1080 high. And I gamed on it. I loved it for gaming. I loved the, the widescreen, but guess what? Once you've got a monitor this big, widescreen is irrelevant. You're just filling up your view at this point. I could get very specific about it. I could just keep talking for hours and hours. So I won't. You guys are all excited now. You all want a 4K. And you know what? Get one.
Just, just get one. And then realize that all the wallpapers you love so damn much are all 1080 and they fit in a little square. Let's go back to the movies for a second. I want to make sure you understand. Did I close it? I did I close my... I use XY Plorer instead of Windows Explorer because A, you get to do split screen, which is there, and B, you get to use split screen. And it, it's a dark color. This steam green, remember the old steam layout? This is the green from that. So let's load up something 1080p. Where's my shows? Mr. Robot, I just redownloaded Mr. Robot. After I paid for it, obviously, because it's an amazing show and it needs all the monies. That is 1080p, right? We put it in the corner. There. You're looking at it. That's as big as it gets. That's whatever, it's all your monitors right now that are 1080p. I have all this extra to deal with. If I drag this over to the television, it's the entire size of the television. So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. When you go big, you go, go big. Because I don't understand, if I just took this monitor away and bought a 27 inch and plugged the wire in, this text would be unre- you don't gain. The gain here is that it gives you the authority to go big. That's the gain. I'm gonna keep hammering that into your heads. 27 inch 4K, useless. 32 inch 4K, useless. 40 inch 4K, you're starting, to, you're on the ball there. If I want a 50 inch here, I'd have to sit back a little more. I feel like right here is as close as I can get. Hand extended, arms, fingertips out, I could touch it. And right there is where I'm happiest. 50 inch, gotta back it up. Gotta back it up and back it up. I'm gonna shut this video off now. It's probably like 35 minutes long. I don't even know how long this video is. I have no concept of time or clock I can look at, except for the one on the stove. Yes. Everyone should go out and buy a 4K, even if you can't run games on it. Oh, and by the way, games that auto load in full screen are gonna crash the shit out of your video drivers. Just Arma 3, I had to force it to run in a window and then I had to edit the config file because every time it would try to load, it would just assume to take the native res. And every time I took the native res, uh, everything stopped working. So those are the sort of issues you're gonna have unless your computer is prepared for this. And my new computer build, it will be prepared. It will run everything I throw at it at 60 FPS or I failed as a human being. And I'm old school. Let's look at Tixati. Let's look at Tixati. Oh, it's so full of bandwidth charts. Where is it? Look how important I am. All right, close, close. Pinky and the Brain shirts on Ripped. Yeah, just, just, all right. There's just nothing else to talk about. Yes, yes, yes.